So this is what our finished question will look like when we're drawing a parabola using the eccentricity method. Okay, so the key concept is P to F, any point in the curve back to the focus is equal to that same point back to the directrix. Now we achieve that using a line, okay, known as the line of eccentricity, and it, the slope of the line is the same as this formula. So for a parabola, PF is equal to one, and PD is equal to one, so it's, it's one as a fraction. So that means P to F is equal to P to D. So the slope of the line, okay, the rise over the run, these two values are equal, could be four. The rise of the line could be 40 up, okay, it could, um, it could be 50 up, the run is the same. So the rise is 40, and then the run, okay, is 40 uh, millimeters as well. Okay, could be 40 millimeters as well, or I actually think I've done that 50. So I've done that actually 50. So I'll start actually drawing that now. So I can mark, um, I'm showing you how to draw a parabola using the eccentricity method. Okay, mark V there at 20, F there. Uh, at 40. So eccentricity of a parabola is 1 to 1. Okay, so the line of eccentricity, I'm going to go up uh, 50 mil. Okay, out of 50 mil then from the um, directrix. So this is the point on the line of eccentricity, and I can draw them, uh, draw in them by connecting these two points. So line of eccentricity. and that's for a problem that's always at 45 degrees. Now, we're going to draw in our lattice rectum. Okay, a line running through a, a vertical line running through F. Now, from F, I'm going to mark points every, we'll say 15 millimeters from F. It doesn't matter the distance between these points, and it doesn't matter if you do one 15, the next one could be 27, the next one could be 38. Okay, so they can be any distance apart, but I'm just going to do 15 for the sake of it. And then between V and F, I'm going to mark them halfway in between it. Right, so I'm going to mark up these uh, draw vertical lines from these points rather until they hit the line of eccentricity. Okay, now, where they hit the line of eccentricity, I'm going to bring them horizontally until they hit the lattice rectum. Take my compass. I'm going to put my compass on F. I bring the nib to the horizontal lines and swing back to the vertical lines they came from. Okay, and then I can do the bottom ones as well by just simply swinging down to the bottom. Uh, where the last rectum intersects the line of eccentricity is always a point on any conic section. Now, I'm going to mark my freehand and sketch them in. That's what it looks like there after it's done. Um, my P to F is equal to P to D, so f to any point on the curve, so p there, equals p to d. And how you would prove that is putting your compass on p, bringing the nib to f and swinging it up there, and they're equal.